Wow, look at that. And this thing is heavy, but do you need a $220 Bluetooth keyboard like this? If you already have something like this, which is only like $30 to $40 and also does the same things, like three devices, Bluetooth, and rechargeable. Let's open this up and see if it's worth the $220. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I want to show you a very fancy, what I consider a high-end Bluetooth keyboard. It's Windows and Mac compatible. I'm hoping it'll work on my iPhone as well. The Ozio RCK wireless keyboard. It's Bluetooth, connects up to three devices. It's mechanical feeling, so you get that clicking sound when you click on it. And the quality is supposedly really, really good. Um, and it has individual LEDs versus like, you know, like a few LEDs spread out to, to cover the entire span of the keyboard. But every single key has its own LED to light it up. All right, let's open up this keyboard. So I can tell you the packaging is like pristine on this thing. Very nice. Look at this presentation. You're just unwrapping something beautiful and holy. It's got multiple layers of protection. It's so hefty, you guys. This this thing is heavy. Look at this. Listen to the clicking sound. I feel like doing the ASMR with this. Wow, the, the, the materials. I mean, this feels like leather and, and metal mashed together. This posh color actually looks rose gold for you Apple fans out there. And look at this, like this feet right here. Very high quality rubber. Bluetooth, USB off, Mac or PC switch, and USB-C charging. Look at the travel on these keys. Look at all that space to travel. Very nice. Is there anything else in here? For $220, what else is in here? Wow, you get, look at this. What is this? Like a, it's like an envelope, like an invitation. This is high end guys. It's the manual and paperwork. I'm gonna skip all that. What is this? It looks like a rope. Okay, this is the USB to USB-C uh, charging cable. It's got a freaking makeup brush. This is to keep the dust off your expensive keyboard. It's got higher lift rubberized feet that you can interchange um you can exchange right here okay to get the right tilt it's got a carrying pouch nicely branded and it's got this foam armrest because it is a pretty petite sized keyboard and this again is really nice like heavy thick rubber Retro classic is what it says right there. And thick foam. Feels like real leather. I don't know if it is real or not. I'm just saying it feels like leather. So basically you would pair it up. You would have it like this and you can tie it. Wow, this would drive like people on my uh, conference calls crazy to hear this. There's a lot of travel. People who like like traditional old school keyboards will love it. Wow, look at that. It's like a banner. Look at that lighting, it's very nice. All right guys, to pair this up, you simply have to hit the function key and then uh, one, two, or three to set uh, which bl Bluetooth device you wanna pair. And then you hit function and blue uh, eject on a Mac layout and hold it down for a few seconds. And now you can see it's flashing, it's into um, pairing mode. And then on your phone, you'll see ASIO RCK AM V1. And now I'm connected. So it's very clicky and clacky. Travel, there's a lot of travel distance. This is meant to mimic the old style um, typewriter keyboards. Um, 
and the response is really good. Like you hit a button, there is some travel before you get to the bottom, but it registers accurately and consistently every single time. So I this is also the, the brightest that I can set the keyboard to. So I'll dim the light all the way here. So if I hold function, The keyboard lights go off and they last like one to two months depending on usage. But you can see I can control the volume right there. Control the brightness on my phone. So I don't even have to hit the function key. I can just hit these uh, shortcut keys to, um, at the very top. So this is very nice. I, I wish I could change the LED color, but it looks pretty classy the way it is. All right guys, so what do I feel about this $220 piece of wood? I mean, this is what it basically is. Um, they made this out of wood and leather because that's what people think of when they think luxurious and contemporary. It's wood and leather. I mean, look in your high end, German cars or even high-end Japanese cars, right? They use w real wood and leather, real leather. Um, so that's why this is so heavy. There's wood in this damn thing, along with metal and leather, real leather, okay? Um, and a few things I want to point out, like this is by default a Mac keyboard, but you can gently wiggle these keys out. So if you just take this, you can pull it right off. See, and, and uh, that's what it looks like right over here. Right? And you to put it on, you just gently put it on top and push it down. And now it's back on. So it's very flexible and like I can really tell that there really is an individualized LED under every single key. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. And these feet right here, you can pull these. If it's not high enough, you can take these out and put these bad boys like a lot thicker or higher um, and slide them right in to get a better elevated um, pitch to the keyboard. So, you know, depending on how, how your wrist is, you can control the height of the key keyboard basically. So here's the low one right here and here's the higher one. And they made it super simple by just pulling it right off and assembling the, pre the other one. So a lot of thought and care has been put into making this keyboard and I, I can see why it's $220, but it does exactly the same thing my $35 keyboard does right here. So if you're not itching for this look or this type of quality and you just want something that's wireless, Bluetooth and connect to multiple devices, and you wanna save some money and it's a lot of money, just get the other one. But if you want something fancy, something that screams like luxury, um, or if you just want something to go with the decor of your room or your house, I don't know, this this might be it for you. I mean, the only other keyboard that I can think of that's more expensive than this is probably like the Apple smart keyboards for their iPads. Those go like 300 bucks. Um, but for a regular desktop keyboard, wow, this is, this is like very, very expensive, um, but the quality is there. Um, even their warranty card is like leather. It's a slab of leather with a serial number on the back. All right, their instruction manual is so thick and made out of quality paper. And you can see what RCK stands for. This is the um, Retro Classic Compact Keyboard from ASIO. And even this, you know, like I said, is high quality. Um, one last thing I want to show you is, like I said, it is PC compatible as well. So they do give you these PC keys. So you can replace the keys as you wish. So there's a whole bunch of uh, Windows uh, keys. So if you want control, Windows, Alt, and all that, it's all here. And there's extra space for you to place any other uh, keys that you want you might want to put away I, I wouldn't 
I wouldn't know why you want to do that though, but it's there. All right, guys, I hope you found this informative. Uh, go ahead and spend $220 on this. It comes in four different colors. This is the posh color, but it comes in like uh, black and some other colors as well. Um, let me know what you think. I mean, would you buy this for $220 or go with something that costs $30 to $40 and functions exactly the same way? I don't know, to each their own. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.